Okay. So it's number three. So let's see. We want the vapor pressure to pure. So let's take a look at this. We've got PT equals XT times PT naught. We'll just write down a formula. Let's kind of see what we have so far, and maybe it'll help us figure out what we need. We've got those two. We've got XB plus XT equals one. Some of the mole fractions one. PB plus P T equals one. Oh, we've got one. P total. Sorry. There. Okay. Let's see, we, we have XB, check, that also means if we have XB, we must have XT, I'll just write it down right now, what's XT? 0 0.700, because it's 1 minus XB, so I'll cut another check, got that one. We've also got PB, no we don't, that's what we want, we want this one right there. We also have PT, that's the one we have. So that means we have PT naught, that means I can find PT. So that's good. Uh, okay, let's do that. P, uh, T, the partial pressure of toluene, is the mole fraction of toluene, 0 0.700 times the partial pressure, or the pressure of the pure toluene, five, 33, let me see if the text solves that one out. This is number 53. That's 373 millimeters of mercury. Okay, now let's see what we got. We got PT, check. We got PT, check. I still really, to get the final answer, I need PB, all right? So what am I going to do to get PB? Well, I think we can say, and I think uh, Tex said the same thing, the total pressure, here's the hint, at the boiling point, what's the pressure, atmospheric pressure? One atmosphere or in millimeters of mercury? 760. So that's what you got to know. That was the secret of the problem because all this happens at 98.6. So uh, we're going to say that P total right here, P total, check we know that it's 760 total or 760 millimeters of mercury. Now I can solve for PB. PB. It's just 760 minus what I just found, PT, 373. Uh, let's see, I calculated that to be uh, 387. And that's in millimeters of mercury. Okay, so far. Now, let's see what I'm missing. The only thing I'm missing is the pure pressure of B. So, P, B, not equals PB over XB, which is 387 divided by XB, that's 0 0.3, and that equals, let's see what they calculated, uh, 1,290. Does that work for you? Okay. So we didn't really need Dalton's law on this one. Uh, this is purely Raoult's law.